All right, let's launch our WordPress site. I've created a very handy checklist that I'll make available at getbliss.com slash resources. Basically, in five steps, we can launch our website. It's gonna be really quick. The first thing we're gonna do is buy our domain, in my case at namecheap.com. There's a lot of places you can buy domain. I prefer that uh, the one, the best I've been using for many years. So let's go to uh, namecheap.com, type uh, the domain we wanna uh, buy. By this stage, you should already select a domain that is available, ideally a .com, and in this case, it's available, so we just click the Add to Cart button, uh, and then I go View Cart, and then I'll buy the domain. I'm gonna show you a trick, actually. Here on where it says Promo Code, if you go uh, online and, try and type name cheap promo codes, uh, you'll be able to save um, a little bit of money. So let's see here, coupons, coupons, name cheap coupons and we'll be able to see a recent name cheap coupon. So in this case, it's Day of Doms, and we can go here, apply, and we'll have a little discount, you'll see. All right, we saved uh, a little bit of money. And then you can go and click Confirm Order. You enter your credit card, de credit card details, and you're ready to go. In my case, I already have uh, my credit card details, so I could just go and click here, pay now, and uh, I would buy the domain. It's as simple as that. So, we bought the domain. Next thing, we're gonna buy the web host account. So, we go to uh, HostGator. Now, this is an affiliate link. If you go to hostgator.grimo.com, I'd be so happy because if you buy the the web host then I get an affiliate fee and this is pretty awesome I actually recommend it uh, for anybody to do and you see a lot of informational marketers this is a way of actually making some money online they recommend really good products that they use and in exchange they get an affiliate commission every time somebody uses them so you're welcome to just go to hostgator.com and not use it but if you use it I'll be so happy I'll be able to you know buy myself a, a beer or invite you for a coffee next time you come to uh, Vancouver by the way that has happened before some of my students have been uh, vis visited, me to my, the, visited me in Vancouver and I've gone out and uh, taken them out for lunch so it actually has happened all right, so let's buy our web host. We go to hostgator.com, click on the big orange button, choose a plan. There's three plans, the hatching plan, baby plan, business plan. I've been using for seven years the baby plan because it's very cheap and it allows you to host unlimited domains under the same account. Now, if you go for the hatching one, it's only one domain. And the reality is that if you want to start doing stuff online, you're going to have more than one website. More is very likely that's going to be the case. And now you select how many uh, years do you want to contract your, your web host for. The longer, the cheaper. So three years is the longest and the cheapest one. I usually go for three years. And click the big sign up now button. And then you fill in the form to buy your web host. The first thing you need to do is enter your domain. So if you already bought your domain on Namecheap or GoDaddy or something like that, then you click here and enter the domain you just bought. But you can also buy the domain right from HostGator. This is simpler because then you don't have to point your domain from Namecheap to HostGator. It saves you a couple of steps actually because then you also have to add it inside HostGator. But I like for flexibility to buy all my domains separate from the HostGator because I have a bunch of domains and websites, right? So I just like that. But if you just want to save a step, you can buy it right from HostGator. So let's say that you just want to register a domain and Let's see if that one is available. You select the one that you want, .com. And uh, it's looking to see if it's available or not. And right now it will tell us whether it's available or not. And it's available, fantastic, for $12.95. Actually, it's a little bit more expensive if you buy it from HostGator. So I would buy from somewhere else. Plus you can get a discount with their coupon <laughs> that I just uh, told you about. So, now you select the pa package, we said the baby is the good one, 12 months uh, or three years if you wanna save more money, enter a username, security pin, uh, billing information, credit card, additional services, uh, all of these, you know, these are just upsells, you don't really need them, but if you want, you can buy them. This is the coupon code that they have right now, it's called Snappy, they give you 20% off. If you wanna use my coupon, it's, uh, Groomo 
25 off and you actually save 5% more, which is awesome. You can validate it there and it will say, yeah, it works. And guess what? Now you're paying less than before, right? Snappy, snappy, validate. Oh, you were paying more. Rumo, 25 off. Instead of 300 bucks, you pay 287 for three years. So there you go. And I make a commission and we're all very happy about that. So once you do that, you go uh, click here. I have agreed to everything in the world that you tell me to agree. Check out now and guess what's going to happen. You have your web host. The next step is to point your domain to HostGator. So once you bought your HostGator web host account, you'll get an email confirmation with your username and password. Then you go to your cPanel, you log in with it, and then you'll see your uh, admin panel here. But there's a lot of stuff in it. Don't get worried about it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. The next step is to add that domain huh, to your account. So you go here, scroll down, and you're going to need these two, two uh, URLs. I'm going to copy this one, and then I go to uh, my list of domains on Namecheap. So the domain that you buy on Namecheap will appear in this list under my account managed domains. And let's say I want to point, let's say that I bought just now, although I bought this a uh, few weeks ago, a Blizz book, right? Because whenever I publish the book about Blizz, then it would go, the website would go here. I click on it, and what I'm going to do is just add, I'm going to click here, transfer DNS to web host. This is the way you point the domain to your web host, and paste here the first DNS server, and then I'm going to paste the second one here, and then save changes. So now the domain is pointing to HostGator, but now I have to add that domain, blissbook.com, to my HostGator. It's a two-step process. One is pointing and the other one is adding it as an add-on domain. So if I go here to my uh, HostGator control panel, there's a here a uh, place for domains. And let's add here, add-on domains, the new domain name, it's available. It's going to create a subdirectory. I just usually like to take off the .com, so it's just a clean directory. Create a password for it. Strong password, or you can actually generate one with a password generated. And just click Add Domain. Not now. And there you go. We just can check mark this. So we buy, we buy the web host account, we point the domain to the web host, we added the, the domain to web host, and we're going to install WordPress, which you would think is a very complex thing, but it's actually very, very simple. All you have to do is go back to your uh, cPanel, and then you have the one quick install. It's a beautiful thing, really. So let's find it. Get started with WordPress today. You can click in there, or if you go to one quick install, you, you can also do it here, quick install. This takes you here, and I'm going to just go WordPress, click on WordPress, and I'm going to go install WordPress. There's a lot of options here to pay, blah, 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 well, you don't need that. Just go install WordPress, and then you select the domain, which is called blissbook.com, the one I just bought. Keep this empty, otherwise your, your WordPress will be installed inside a folder. And then you just type whatever you want here, your email, Miguel at rumomedia.com, my new blog, Miguel, Miguel Hernandez, install WordPress. Boom. That's it. You have now WordPress installed. As soon as it's finished installing, you'll get a notification. Your install is complete. And then you have here a link to access the admin area of your WordPress account and a automatically generated password. So you just copy that password. Then you go to 
that link, enter your username, the password, log in. You can save this password if I want to. And guess what? You are already on a website. I just created a website for blissbook.com in less than five minutes. If you want to see how that looks, you can click here on my new blog. And this is the default template. It's an ugly template, but at least you have a place now where people can go and see that MVP. On the next videos, I'm going to sh show you how to set up WordPress and how to change the look. So you have a very nice looking website and you can start you know, getting traffic and promoting your new product to the world. Hey, did you enjoy this video? If you want to see more like this, just subscribe here. If you want a free gift, click here. Yeah. Di -di 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 -di. Which one is going to be the one you click? La 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 li 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 li